How bad? Uh, we're gonna be able to deal with it here. Maybe a couple dozen quills. Hey, hey. Nice. Tough as hell, dumb as a doorknob. He just won't leave porcupines alone, and we just I just cooked him with the electric collar, and he did stop. Good. He did stop, but hey, I'm going to need you to put the camera down and actually help me because I need you to hold his mouth. So, we just concluded a most distasteful episode, at least for me. Nos found another porcupine. And this would be number four or five or something. And in the panic and my and the haste, I stupidly fired a shot at the porcupine while Jason was in front of me. So we're I'm lucky that no, that didn't end in dis disaster and tragedy. And I, of course, was reaching for my remote for the e collar, which is on NOS, because we know he hates porcupines, and we're on a property that the owner has specifically told us he wants the porcupines dealt with because they're damaging his trees. He has a woodlot. Um, so Jeff and I have uh, pulled the quills from Noss's mouth at this point, but there is another one that I see there. As you can see, Noss doesn't seem uh, to be concerned about what happened at all. In fact, I think he thinks that, oh, for some reason he made me mad, which isn't the case at all because that's what Noss is bred for. The Germans breed the dogs with, uh, with a uh, predator hardness, so when Noss sees a porcupine, he sees it as, an, as his job. So anyway, yes, Jason pulled the quills from Noss's mouth and paused. It's obvious that the porcupine was a threat to Noss. As, as much as Noss is a threat to the porcupine, to be honest. Yeah. And the porcupine, had it been up in a tree, it wouldn't have been an issue. And we were discussing this on the way in, actually. Uh, porcupines eat a fair amount of vegetation, not just tree bark. So we were hoping that it was late enough in the season that the porcupines would be up in the tree and we wouldn't have to deal yeah. with this again. And um, if there's anything to be said about this this experience, is it's the first time that Noss has actually uh, been um, uh, run on the e-collar and he's run into a porcupine and I've had the opportunity to actually shock him. Uh, I wish we had seen it before he grabbed the porcupine the first time because ideally, uh, as he went for the porcupine is when I would want to actually hit him with the electricity. But that's not what happened. What happened was I ended up using the e-collar to stop him from attacking the porcupine. Which it did. It dissuaded him. He did listen to my command. I did tell him to sit. He stopped. But as I approached him, he wanted to go again and I had to be very stern with him. Uh, in fact, the way he's acting, he thinks that I'm mad at him, but it's it's because I had to stop him from killing the porcupine, because the last time he killed the porcupine, we were rushing off to the vet for four and a half hours of surgery. So, Mr. Man, I know, oh, oh that tastes like crap. Um, so I guess it's just Noss is determined that he's going to kill porcupines. Um, As it is right now, we have another quill to pull. No, the truth be told, I just... I prefer that we beat the porcupines and us and us. We just both agree to leave each other alone. And yeah. Because it's obvious this porcupine has a niche, occupies a niche in this ecosystem, and I don't like dispatching them. Doing this, I mean, it's up to the landowner if he considers the pests. He can take care of it. I. Yeah, it's, it's not something you come out here saying, oh, we're going to go shoot porcupines today. It's not the case at all. We just wish that Nas would leave them alone. One thing I will say is if anybody has a headstrong dog like Nos, uh, this is an invaluable tool if you're in the woods. Not just for potentially cutting a piece of barbed wire or, or maybe even a trap, a snare that somebody set that your dog may get into inadvertently. This is invaluable for pulling porcupine quills if it happens because when, when the dog does attack a porcupine, those quills are covered in spit and blood and trying to pull them is very difficult indeed. And not just that, if the dog is seriously hurt, uh, I'm not saying my dog would bite me, but he, he might not be too happy that I'm pulling quills from him, in which case my hand is a little further away from his mouth if I'm using pliers or, uh, in this case, a multi-tool. All right, well, let's let you get on with removing the remaining quill and we'll get on with retrieving our, the seats from our Which was our intention cameras. of coming out here.
Not stuff. necessarily to run NOS, it was a combined trip, but now now he's proven again. And we know that we're going into a spot where Jeff has yeah. seen four porcupines while deer hunting. So we're going to leave NOS in the car and we're going to go back and retrieve our seats. And hopefully uh, we won't see any porcupines. Yes, and hopefully yes, our next video will have happier news. Game rather than yes. porcupines.